All right, it is time. It is time for Starfield, my friends. It is here. It is out. Um, playing on the Series X. Some of you might be playing on the PC. I don't think you're going to be able to go wrong with either way. Uh, this does come with a little tiny insert manual in here with like controls, which is pretty cool. Um, so this also, this pre-order came with um, a lanyard, a Starfield lanyard, which is pretty sweet here, if you guys can even see that at all. Um, and then a pin badge, as well, so there's a little pin inside here, as well. So pretty cool little things to come, and some digital thing too, I think. Can't wait for the journey to meet either, Stargen. I hope you guys... Hope everybody's gonna enjoy my journey in the game. Everyone's is gonna be completely different, I know. Um, yeah, I'm just excited to dive into this game. Uh, it's probably gonna be something we're gonna put a lot of time into uh, using the, the newer controller I have. Let's get it going, my friends. Bethesda Game Studios. This has gotta be a good game. It's gotta be massive. This is big for uh, for Xbox here, their brand. So, all the legal stuff. Just go to settings, see what we can do. Damage numbers. Uh, I don't think we need that. Accessibility. Should we do a large menu fonts? I guess I'll keep that the same for now. If I, if I need to, I will change that. Um, crew. Oh, that's like the crew of the people that actually made the game, right? Here we go. Welcome to Starfield. It means the world to us to have you exploring our brand new universe. From all of us at Bethesda Game Studios, thank you so much for playing and all your support. We can't wait to see what you discover. Can't wait either. <laughs> exciting, exciting stuff here. Uh, I know who I'm going to create as my captain if I can get it to look at least close enough to this person. Let's see what I got. Just soak it in. Seven twenty-three thirty, May seventh. You say? On a mining outpost. Oh, we're already playing, huh? Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella. What's my one simple rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady. Go safe. Go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, yeah, I work in the star dock. Except, uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah, and the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. Shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats. That guy's voice is familiar. Just no more unauthorized jumps in the house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. Right, group hug now or a Do you? shift? <sighs> One of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. Alright. 
off and running. How are we on time? Uh, a little longer. Grab some samples? Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive. Lots of details already. Roger that. Remember that. Keep your breathing steady. And never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah. Peek through here, peekaboo. Anybody in there? No. Hello. I guess I can't talk to him right now. Come on, Calvert. I get this? So a cutter. Dusty, you're up. Grab a cutter. cutter. Find what you can. Look at all the stats it gives you. Value. You. Accuracy. And so I gotta go over here and do it. Collect mineral deposits. Right. There's gonna be mining and they're teaching you how to mine already. Look at that, look at that. Clean and precise, beryllium. Calvert. I know freaking Calvert. Did you not learn anything? Said we're on a moon or something. Ooh, it's getting dark in here. Dude, look at the, the, the details and the graphics here so far. What's up, Lou Val? Really Where is it, Hella? Welcome okay. to the journey here. Okay, you, you're up. Something goes wrong in there. We'll come get you. If something goes wrong, you'll come get me. Why don't you just come wrong? with me now? Would you shut up? Both of you, do your job. Turn off the flat on off the flashlight. Okay, let's definitely have the flashlight on. Uh, 
Uh, what is this? Maybe if I shoot from here? No. We just go through like a black hole or something? You're playing a little Fortnite right now, there you go. Hopefully you get some dubs tonight, my friend. Hey, come on. I'm on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. I believe the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? Yeah, uh, here we go. Now we get to pick our or create our character. All right, let me see. Let me start with. I said I already know who I'm gonna make. I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to make this person. Depends on how how we can get them to look. Well, we'll see. We'll see. All right. So body. A little bit thinner, not too thin though. That's probably pretty good. Well, that looks good. All right. Character creation time, yep. Oh, nice. You already got one. Look at that. Doing way better than me this season already. I haven't even won one. I just don't know how old we'll be able to get them. Like how much age we're going to have like them show. i got to get the head shape kind of right. That might be pretty close. No facial hair either. Like I just want to see if they have. Whoa. All oh, right, there we go. Is that Taylor Swift hair or something? I know right now he's looking more like Harry Styles than who I'm trying to get him to look like, but I'm trying to see. I guess the shortest hair they have without being bald is because he has something like this going on. Now we're going to have to go completely bald. That's the only way we're going to have to do this. All right. Uh, eyes. All right, there we go. like that. No, his eyes are more not quite like that. I need that, but then how do I oh here we go. Shape bend blends. I don't even know what this is doing. Is this for the eyes or is this for something else? That's for the eyes.
It looks like he has more age to it now. Yeah, there we go. So we go like that. All right, scale. This is not looking good so far, honestly. <laughs> It's a celebrity, yes. This is a celebrity. What's up, Bucket? Thank you for that. We have mini muffins tonight. Oh yeah, you could guys definitely guess. I mean, I am like not even getting close to this person yet. Hydration. Lots of power. I think the head needs to be a little bit wider. The eyes don't look right. I mean, I'll, let me see what else I can play around with here. The eyebrows. There we go. And now they got to be like a little like grayed here. to be a little bit I don't get, get exactly what these shape blends are even supposed to do, but <laughs> no, definitely not. Definitely not. <laughs> yeah, these are the only noses that you can get, huh? Let's see, I think. change how it like looks uh, nose uh, down Nostrils like that, although the tip needs to be more down than up, I think, just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. There we go. Gollum. <laughs> you know what? Once in a in an old like an old Tiger Woods game I made Gollum. And it came out looking just like him. We don't even know how it happened. My brother and I were playing, and we were just, we were just creating. We see what kind of crazy thing we could make, and it, we made Gollum, and it looked like him. He was like low to the ground, had a really weird swing, and like, <laughs> it, was, it looked just like him. We're like, how did this happen? We literally made Gollum in a Tiger Woods game. I wish I knew which game it was, because my save file might still be somewhere on the system. He has space in his name? Yeah, he does. He does have space in his name, doesn't he? Good one, good one. <laughs> uh, ridge out a little bit like that. Not too much. I think the nose is looking a little bit too...
Too big. And I guess that's that's pretty good. I mean, it just doesn't have to be perfect, right? Like, I'm not even... I'm just trying to get something that's, like, kind of close to him. What years were those? Five? Those are probably decent ones. Maybe, oh... I'm looking at the picture of the person too, so I can see that. Actually, those might be. The ones. It's kind of looking like Gollum when they shape out like that. Uh, cheeks. Okay. Down, more down. Puffed out a little bit. Not that much. Just getting some aging in there. That's kind of what we want. I think it just needs to be more full. Uh, mouth. What can we do with the mouth, huh? Uh, let's see. I was going to do this part off stream and just record it for YouTube, but I figured out. Why don't you guys, why don't everybody get the full experience here right now? If anybody wants to just like skip by this later on YouTube, like I don't blame you for like fast forwarding to get to the, to the meat and potatoes of it, but I'm going to try to get this to look pretty good. At least decent. Uh, no, it needs to be more. Like that. Looks like a, oh, the overbite. No, I don't want that. I don't get what these shape blends do. to be like a wider mouth though I guess I can't change that hang on don't like what's rooting out there we go right, teeth whoa Jaw, this might help too. All right, it's going to be. Uh, wide, more, a little more wide. There we go. There we go. That's more like it right there. Ew, the uh, the teeth, the uh, the golem teeth. You could probably make golem in this. Yeah, he's got a pretty. I guess defined jawline. A bit. There we go. Not quite up and down. Maybe like right there is good enough. Nothing too crazy. I think the eyebrows need to be a little bit whiter too, if I can. All right, uh, chin. I think, uh, I guess in the middle is fine. More narrow chin. Actually, no, he's good. Kind of a wider, a little bit.
bit wider chin. There we go. Nick. <laughs> now we're getting into un unknown territory here. I don't know. Maybe something like that. that jewelry uh, no complexion color temperature whoa 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 oh you put freckles on them that's that's cool blemishes uh, scars facial forms oh okay so like aging kind of yeah we're gonna need we need a bit of that Too much of that. Okay. What does this cheek thing do? This doesn't even really look like him. I think the eyes need to be changed. Oh, lipstick. No. We could give him eyeliner. <laughs> dirt. Put dirt in their face. Let me go back to the eyes. I think we can get something better for that. These eyes might be better. want to do too much with that I wish you could get like the uh, the eyelids like thinner I don't know how you do that though there you go bucket you got it you got it you know who I'm making now you guys got it star June and bucket both got it it doesn't look like him does it <laughs> like I think like I need the face to be a little bit I don't know maybe the head shape needs to be a little different the eyes definitely have to change The eyes have to change. Yeah, more like. Because then his eyebrows also have to like come down. Almost like over his. Over his. Uh, his eyes there. There we go. Eyebrow color. good enough right there had a feeling yet hydration from arachno oh hello there the star trek and he's bald yeah yeah i'm making patrick stewart i want him to man my ship not captain picard not professor x but patrick stewart himself is gonna be my freaking captain because who else i was thinking him my second choice was going to be uh, Nathan Fillion's character from Firefly, but I figured this would be a pretty good one. You know, so I mean, Han Solo was also a choice, but I elected to go with him. You know, just some famous captains there. Uh, let's see. Uh, the eyes are still not what they should be. I mean, he looks alright. I mean, like I said, this doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, I'm just trying to get it to be like, so you can like, when people say, "Oh, it's Captain," it's Patrick Stewart, you know, so you, like you know, you can tell that it's like actually him. Maybe not by looking at it, but if like you n know that's who I'm making. There's still something wrong with it, though. It's all it's in the eyes, and I think maybe the face shape. No, like the head shape. In the back, maybe. Maybe. Uh, 
Yeah, the eyes are definitely like hard to. And move them up a little bit. A little more. No. Eyebrows are coming down a bit. Uh, what else can I change here? Forehead. No, I don't think I should delve too much more into that. All right, can I go back to... Oh, that doesn't look like him from here, does it? <laughs> it doesn't look like him. <laughs> What's wrong about this? Is it the eyes? The fact that he doesn't have that little bit of hair in the back can't really get that down. Maybe if I give him that hair, would that help? Oh no, that, that looks way worse. You gotta make him bald. Yeah, you can't do that. No, that ain't gonna work. Head shape, right? Hang on, let me try to get this. Whoa, that's weird. Whoa, that's really weird. Okay, well now we're now we're losing ourselves here. <laughs> we're wide. See now that looks wrong. That looks wrong. Maybe like that. Uh, yeah, the uh, the eyes still need to change. What else can you do with these eyes to make them like? So the eyelids need to be different. Like, man, I didn't. I didn't think we could. See what else there is. Uh, yeah, I just don't think the eyes are good enough for the thing that. Lobo? Wait, who the heck is Lobo? From, um. What is Lobo? Who is Lobo from? When you tell me, I'm gonna be like, oh. That's right. Is that another, that's not another Star Trek character, is it? I mean, there's a lot of possibilities with this. There's a lot of things you can do. I'm just struggling, I think, with the eyes to get them to look like his eyes, because they're very, they're not as open, you know? Like they're more like, the eyelids are more like, Everything else like looks like you know it's okay, so maybe like the mouth or something. I think I need to change the mouth a little bit too. That looks weird. Uh, okay. Shape blends. There we go. All right. <laughs> He's smiling. Uh, all right. The eyes are. I just need to figure these out here. I don't even. I don't even know what these. Shape blends are doing. They are changing his eyes a bit. But not for the better. Oh, 
I'll play around with this for a bit and just see. That's actually better, kind of. Or at least I think it looks a little bit better here. Like this. Maybe, maybe not. All right. At some point, I'm going to have to just be like, this is good enough and go with it. His eyes are like a brown. His eyes are more narrow. That's what I'm trying to say. I can't get it to be like as narrow as I want. Like I want like the eyelids to come down a little bit. Then I think it would be like, okay. Marvel. Lobo Marvel. Okay. That Lobo. Okay. I see. I see. Um, yeah, I just don't think I can get the eyes much better. Like, I just, it, it's like really hard to get them as thin as I want or as narrow as I want. If there's a way, I don't know how to do it. Because this just scales them. I mean, from there, it, it you know, it doesn't look like him. I mean, it kind of does, but not enough. Star Lord, yeah, Star Lord would be a lot easier to make. <laughs> That's right. I mean, I said, we'll just get it as close as I can here, and then we'll... If I sit here and spent like three hours on it, maybe I could get it to look a lot better. But yeah, it's like these eyes, like, I can't get them to, like, look... Anything like Patrick Stewart's eyes. The way this shape lens work is kind of weird. Like the bars go up and down on their own, depending on which one like you play with here. There, that will have to do. Like the cheeks, maybe I could do a little bit more with them. Jaw kind of hang on. Kind of like this. That's a little bit more. Need to fix that a bit. So come up. More of an up shape to it. There we go. There. Uh, and bring it forward too. No. So it's like back. It's somewhere in there. Do, 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 do. The neck. Now I'm going to touch up the mouth again a little bit. Like I wish you could play with like how long, you know, the lips are and stuff like that. He does have hard features to replicate, doesn't he? You know, we're realizing that he's not easy to make. I thought he'd be kind of easier to make, but no, I was wrong. I mean, we're going to get it. Right, like this. It's hard. He's really hard to make. 
Or we're gonna have to just go with it at some point. I mean, it looks enough like him, I guess. But not enough like him at the same time. Hey, I can't play around with like the things that I want to be able to play around with, like the size of everything. You just do like the the shape blends, but it just doesn't. It kind of acts weird. Okay, well we're gonna go with that. It's Patrick Stewart. <laughs> That's who it is. Uh, let's see background. Ooh, okay. Um, what should his background be? Beast Hunter, uh, probably not. Let me see what the names of some of these are. Gangster, that's definitely him. Professor, <laughs> that's pretty good. Professor X. Should I do that? Soldier, file not found. Chef. How about a diplomat? Explorer. I mean, it's got to be Explorer, right? Because he's he's Patrick Stewart. Pilgrim, Professor. It's got to be Professor or Explorer. It's got to be one or the other for us. I think we'll do Explorer. They said exploration is a lost art. You didn't listen as the major factions argued over the space they desperately tried to control. You were busy uncovering the wonders of the settled systems. So we'll say Patrick Stewart was preserved and lives on and he spent time exploring. And he found a way to live for the rest of, you know, live eternally. Uh, traits. Uh, you, a dream home, empathy. Extrovert, Freestar Collective Settler. Wow. Okay. Alien DNA. Hero Worshipped. Kid stuff. Your parents are alive and well. Can't visit them at their home, but you will likely send 2% of your credits home to them every week. <laughs> oh, these are cool. These different traits. Uh, you want a luxurious, customizable house. Fine. Mortgage with Gal Bank that has to be paid weekly. Oh gosh, you can have a dream home, but you got to pay the credits every week. Oh goodness me. You are deeply connected to the feelings of others, performing actions your companions like will result in an increase in combat effectiveness, but performing actions they don't like will have the precise opposite effect. That might be one. I'll pick that one for now for him. Hero worshipped, neon street rat, raised enlightened. You grow up as a member of the enlightened. You gain access to special chests full of items in the house of enlightened in New Atlantis, but lose access to the sanctum, universum chest. Huh. Oh, maybe raised enlightened taskmaster. Wanted. Uh, colonies dialogue options better rewards for submissions given by the faction of the crime bounty by United Colonies Native. Huh. Terra firma. You've never acclimated to space. Health and oxygen are increased when on the surface, but decreased when you're in space. I think we'll do Raised Enlightened and maybe a Taskmaster. 
We're getting a raid from Puffin. Welcome in, my friends. Welcome in. Another raid from Puffin. Hello there, Sugar Bear. Chef Stewart. His mission is to go where no man has gone before. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, Bucket. Hello there. Yes, Mom in the house again. This was the new one you were excited for. Yes, this is it. We're creating our character. We made as close as I can get to Patrick Stewart here. Um, I'm just picking my traits right now. I think we might do Taskmaster or Terra Firma. Maybe let's do Taskmaster for him. How do I change his name now? Does it let me do that? Yes, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you so much. How are the, how are the games tonight, Puffin? Everybody's doing well. Let's finish. Oh, here we go. Name. We already know. We already know. Did we put the whole name in? I guess we put the whole name in, huh? Patrick Stewart. Oh, you can pick pronouns, too. Um, I guess confirm. He's an explorer, an empath, raised, enlightened, and he's a taskmaster. It's it's freaking... It's him. Confirm. I forgot explorer was on your application. Must have been a slow... They don't know who he is. They don't know well, you got the sample. that they're hiring Finds the greatest man alive right now. Do you remember anything that happened? Uh, there was a light in music. It was incredible, like a dream or a vision. I'm gonna tell her that. Easy there, high flyer. Probably just the endorphins kicking in when you passed out. Don't go having an experience on me. You'll Why not? It off. More importantly, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in This all game's world. big too, guys. They said there's over a thousand planets that you can explore. So I said we'll be playing this game into the next year, I'm sure. So you can do first and third person views. A constellation contact is on approach. Wait. In case you want to see Patrick Stewart, but I think I can zoom it out. I honestly think I'm going to stick in first person to get more immersive. Now, oh, what do we got? Sports bottle. I can take this? Okay. Wire school. I don't know what I do with all this stuff, but space undersuit. I guess I'll take it. I don't know. Another sports bottle. Nobody's having Gatorade today. A notepad? A pen? I'm stealing everything. I'll take your freaking folder and your swabs. What do I, I don't even know what I do with all this stuff. What is that? Vacuum tape? Yeah, right. I guess like for crafting it might be good. Hell are putting that first aid seminar to work on you, huh? I just want to soak up all the details of this game too. Here's another minor. How they sucker you to join? Fall for the fancy pamphlets? No, I'm Captain Picard. Text log. What? Chapter three mining suit maintenance. Okay. Interesting little screen there for that. Oh, sure. Just take my stuff. All yours. Oh, yeah, thanks. I uh, appreciate it. You didn't want the sports bottle, did you? No. Leonard Nimoy. Oh, that'd be so good. Yeah, make make Nimoy. <laughs> we'll have the two captains. We'll have the two uh, legends in space. Up for this one. Arc of 
Ghost usually ain't so good at picking sights. Oh, this time, <laughs> like a miracle. Thank you. Wait, let's see what the UI is. Oh, here we go. So Patrick Stewart, uh, skills, we got skill trees. You receive one skill point to spend every time you level up. Each skill also unlocks a challenge. Complete the challenge and then spend the skill point to rank up the skill. Top row represents basic skills. The rows below are locked until you've spent a minimum number of skill points in that category. All right. So you got combat, science, tech, social, and physical. Very nice. There we go, this stuff, man. Look at all this. Dude, they give you like the details on here too. Show your equipment, very nice. I don't know what I do with this folder. Like, what's the point of this stuff? I can only hold so much mass too, so some of this stuff I might just like get rid of because like why do I need it? Uh, what do we have for aid? A med pack. No other equipment right now, new items. We got the beryllium. Vectera. Resources zero five type rock. Whoa. This tells you about the, the planet that you're on. So we are in a moon of Ancyon. Thin atmosphere, temperature, deep freeze. So it's freezing here. Oh my god, that's that's so cool. And that must be it. Oh, look at the sun. Dude. How do I select what I'm looking at? That's Nira. Oh, I see my cursor. So this is Ancient. This is crazy. Yeah, I think it's box awesome. Can't wait to see like who we can get in our crew and everything. Um, I'm just trying to get used to some of these screens here. So it tells us it's a rock survey, 80%. We've surveyed here, I guess. Yeah, I don't think we need to deal with that yet. So this is the solar system we're in. Dipala, Su Sumati. We're on this little moon here. There's a bunch of planets here. Podius. There's Nera, Magrith. Of course, the sun of this solar system. All right. This is exciting. <laughs> what the heck is this now? Oh, this might be how we travel to different solar systems. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's continue. A lot to take in, a lot to to figure out here. This is going to be an incredible journey, I know. Take care of yourself out there. You too, sir. Snack pack. That's got to be a health item, right? Personal groomer? Yeah, we don't know when we're gonna need that. Cheddar snack crackers, ooh. Don't mind if I do. Thermos. Might want some coffee.
Yeah, take that med pack. There we go. Alright, where else we going? Where else we going? Soap dispenser. Injector. I'll take that. And I don't want to take everything because I feel like my weight's going to be too much yeah, already. What? Okay. What if I steal your granola mix? That's what you get for not talking to me. Let's go through. Yes, the game has a trait just for him. There's some cool traits in there. Coffee mug. Am I in that? Am I in that sandwich you got there? Uh, busy. Talk to you later. Yeah. Huh? Just trying to get through my shift. Yeah, yeah. I hear you. Oh, I guess I'll take that. Like, I think you can decorate homes or something in this. I was asking my brother, and he's. Lynn sure seems to like you. Guess she would know. Be in the bunk. You fitting in okay? Mining crews ain't the friendliest, but they're good folks. She's nice. The plant. I'm taking it. Supervisor's log supplemental. Still day two of Argos Extractor Sector Ending. Restart collective claim ID beta seven five four eight alpha. A lemon. As far as anyone knows. Taking the tablet. I do need coffee. Right there. Coffee mug's worth 55 gold. I think I will take it. So they want me to put my helmet on. Okay. Missions. That's your mission thing. Select the area in the lower right to access. Okay. Yeah. And we're going to go to this. that music oh we're outside for the first time just giving you a taste of what's gonna happen here Come up with some new material next time. Can I jump? 
duck. Let's not jump. There we go. Ah, there's the run button too. Can I just like start mining stuff? <laughs> There's gonna be so much to do in this game too. It's gonna be excellent. Like all little things you can collect too. I'm gonna be looking around. Just getting going. Maybe let's see if I can like mine anything right now. I guess it's only like certain spots. Oh, you like this thing maybe? There we go. We got some nickel. They're just going to have to patiently wait for me over there. That's fine. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. <laughs> I said, I know this is undoubtedly going to get compared to No Man's Sky. And like, I'm sure myself I'll be doing that, but I, it's going to be a completely different experience than No Man's Sky, I think. No Man's Sky is a great game. This one's going to have more of like a, you know, combat story and, but the exploration part is, you know, going to be there and that's what I'm really most excited for and we'll see, we'll get kind of delved into this universe and see what, what it has to offer as well. Another game I'm going to take my sweet time with. You know, there's no rush to beat this or to finish it up. I'm playing it. Even this time next year, still playing it. That's fine. Gameplay feels smooth so far. Doing a little mining, so you never know. It'd be good to get some early. Aluminum. Stewart enjoying himself. All right, let's go. We're getting in the ship. I don't want to leave yet. Barrett, what's up, Barrett? Supposed to follow him or something? Fine, nothing to talk about. Here. All right, a little disappointing, not gonna lie, but reveling in the weird of space isn't everyone's idea of a good time. I get it. Huh. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing or you ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Here, 
Secret. Scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. Oh shoot, are we gonna get attacked here? What are they? Uh, I have a... What is this? I don't think I have a weapon yet. Is this a... Oh, here we go. Whoa. Alright, alright, alright. How do I swap my... Uh, I get my weapon activated here. Nice. Oh, cool. I like the overlay on the, the ammo there. We're getting attacked. Pirates. Let me get a little bit closer here. Oh, shoot. Here I come, Patrick Stewart. <laughs> got him, I got him. I need to like figure out my quick menu too, so I can like Oh, it's here. There we go. Just show me how much experience I'm getting. Five experience. There we go. So it's showing. Me. Let's see if you have some ammo on you, buddy. Oh, I'll take that. Pack on them. They got cutters. Game feels really good so far. Bethesda's going to be working on next now. I know they got like Avowed, right? Looks pretty good. I guess we took care of them all. Part of this. This moon. Oh no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? All right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Gusty here in my place? Uh, 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 I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. As soon as he touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't do it. Fine. It's a deal. So he's staying, I'm going? You're on to bigger things.
What about the mine? Now that we've been attacked, oh, we've got to pack up and move on. Argos will come for the rest of us. Oh, they have to move camp. Get going. Just go. Before I say something I regret. Well, now that that's settled. Bosco, get him to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo. We got a watch, nice. Hooking up with the Rolex. Hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, question? What? Why was the Crimson Fleet after you, first of all? Okay, all right. You're giving me your ship, dude? Technically, it's not even mine. Consider it alone. Okay. Bosco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception, since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. See, that's the problem with the subtle systems. Too easy to take everything for granted. While everyone else is busy playing politics, we're the ones braving the unknown. Charting the vastness of space. The but space I mean, explorers. Galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out. Alright. Hey Bosco! Don't let him break my ship! Ooh, I can't make any promises, Barrett. You might not want to look. Hey, I'm just exploring for little things. I love this world so far. Like, this is awesome. Got some cool characters already. You got. You got a little bit knowing what's going on here. So much to, like, look for. There's so many items you can pick up. Assuming I could probably dump some of them off in like a storage in the ship somewhere. Hoping. Just look around a little bit more before we get going. How do I put something on my quick quick menu here? few weapons here. I'm gonna put that on the favorites list. I'll be over there. That way I know if we need it right now we can just if I'm fighting some guys and I can I don't wanna go do some mining. Easily pull it out there. Like, I think we might be free to kind of just explore this moon right now. I don't know. It shows the bottom left are oxygen levels. Assuming there's not going to be too much to see here. Jaded says the game continuously gets better. It's awesome. Oh, so you're really, really enjoying it yourself, huh? I am. I'm involved here early. It's good stuff. Oh, thank you, baby. 
<laughs> did you, uh, did you get something? Yeah, you? For you, too? Alright. <laughs> yeah, I think this is gonna be a great journey, guys. <laughs> it's gonna be great. So there's so much to see. I don't wander too far away here, because... I will, I will get lost. <laughs> I wonder if each planet is actually like the size of a planet, or if there's just a couple areas in each planet that you can go to. Either way, I'm like kind of okay with it, because I know No Man's Sky has a you know full exploration of the planets, but a lot of it is like planets, uh, you know, once you've seen a, a section of them, you've kind of seen the whole thing, more or less. In terms of the atmosphere and the... You know, the creatures. I just stepped into radioactive gas, by the way. Jaded, thank you for the sub, my friend. And using the... Elden Ring Jar emote, man. Thank you. Three months from Jaded. Thank you so much, my friend. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's right. Started with the Viper one. Much appreciated. Jaded Darkness with the sub. Our uh, excellent Crash Team Rumble teammate here. He says you can land anywhere. That's really good. That is really good. I'm looking forward to like if we can like build houses or something like you could in like Fallout 4. Just to kind of like, you know, establish homes on different planets and stuff like that. I mean, this is a game that's definitely worth the $70 price tag, huh? And there's like so much that you can get out of it. I also pre-ordered, um, I pre-ordered the new Bomberman game today as well, so when I went to pick this up, we couldn't get, I couldn't pick this up till 8 o'clock, so I was out of work around like 7.30, I had to wait before, like I was in GameStop, like we can't hand them out till 8 o'clock, um, and then obviously this took like an hour and a half to install, but worth the wait here. It's official retail releases tomorrow, but I think more and more people will be playing it tomorrow. And then when it goes on Game Pass and all that. Alright, I guess we can go because I don't know what else there is. Hello there, Vasco. It appears you are the new captain of the frontier. It Just would, up the ramp, Captain. Would appear. I'll be in the external robotics bay. Captain Stewart from the Yes, <laughs> Captain Stewart. You already know Oliver Patrick Stewart, the GOAT. Okay, let's go in. We're the new captain. New Bowerman game? Yeah, there's a new Bowerman game coming out in like a week and a half or something. Looks really fun. I'm actually pretty pumped for it. It's been a while since I played a Bowerman game. It's gonna be some. There's gonna be story mode, tons of multiplayer stuff. And one of the multiplayer modes is what, like, one of the reasons why I want to get the game because it looks really fun. Have we got ramen? Is that beef ramen? You think? There we go. Pot. We gotta have lid too. Kitchen tea steeper. That one's for Jesse. Fire extinguisher. You know, just in case I decide to burn. What I'm cooking here. And I'll take the sandwich. Digipick. I don't know what that is. Apple chunks? I already have a plant.
I love that the robot says names. Yeah, yeah. Like he actually says your name. I think it's so cool. Nova Galactic no Coffee Mug. I kind of want that in real life. Did you pick the lock picks? Oh, okay, that's good to know. Thank you. This is. There's just so much, so many details here. I'm looking around like, what else can I take? Snack pack, gummy bears, chicken, coffee, of course. Water pitcher. I don't know what taking all this stuff does. A coffee grinder, you know, we can't have coffee without the grinder. Research station. The research lab lets you discover new crafting recipes by completing research projects. Each research project requires materials in order to make progress. The materials needed can range from raw minerals extracted from planets to organic substances extracted from alien creatures and plant life to manufactured components that can be made at an industrial workbench. Wow, okay, so... Let's take a look at a, a food and drink, for instance. We can make an old earth cuisine with bread, red meat, and cheese, which I don't have. That's the only ones I have, the only recipes. Make chairs. Oh, turret defenses? Goodness me, that's cool. Mods for your guns. Performance enhancement, medical treatment. Uh, So like so aluminum goes into medical treatment, so it's good I picked up a little bit of that. Alright. That sounds awesome. Gonna take a break soon, guys. Probably just eat a little something. And then we'll come back and play more. It's I know it's late already, but we'll see how far we can go, to how long I can go tonight before I get too tired and go back to work tomorrow. But we'll probably play more of this, if not tomorrow, very soon. Apple chunks. That's the captain's locker. That's mine. I'm the captain. That's our seat. Small ship. I guess this is it. I guess this is all we need right now. Wait, can we go? Until we go down. Where would we sleep? Oh, right there. Alright, I guess we're going to be sitting in our new throne here. Here we go, here we go. Well, actually, I feel like... I feel like I'm going to wait to come back from break to do that. Before we take off. Let's see what else we got. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Jump seat. Another coffee mug. What is this? Oh, this is our ship. Holy crap. Grab drive. Shield. Engine. Missile launcher. There's like actual like companies that they made up in the game that like provided on the ship like our engines by Relodyne. <laughs> oh. 
chip one of one, so I guess we can get more than one chip. Jeez. Get right up in there. I'm sure people have been making Star Wars ships and stuff in this game. Lots of detail. Man, this is a really cool setup. It lets you like really take it all in, like all the details and stuff and uh, cargo hold or crew, let's see. Manage your crew. Review and change their assignments between your ships and outposts. Different crew of different skills which enhance your ship or outposts. There we get outposts. So obviously we got nobody yet. You've already seen a Millennium Falcon. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I figured somebody would do that. Like to have the the time to do that would be really cool to do something like that. Plus, like to try and get all the details would be really difficult, but probably get it pretty close. Hey, what's up, Pingo? How you doing? So, do I actually finish the sandwich, or I just Did I eat it? I guess I ate it, okay. Yeah, here's the, this is a lock pick, huh? Looks like a lightsaber, <laughs> like a camera lens. Digipick. Get ourselves a coffee grinder. Tea steeper. We got the Nova coffee mug looking good. Nova Galactic. Red Harvest white bread. Looking pretty good. I love that it lets you look at every little thing that you pick up. My gosh. We got apple chunks, space food. If you're within 250 meters of your ship, you can send stuff straight from your personal inventory to your ship. Oh, that's really good. Now I know that I can just be like, all right, let's 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 leave it here, you know, rather than it makes me more inclined to collect more stuff. Very nice. It's the Starfield meat, so yes, it is. Welcome. Welcome to Exploration. Doing pretty good, just started Sea of Stars. Oh, nice. People have been talking about that game. I really, really want to play it. Uh, I think probably going to get it next year when they release the physical version. Since I probably won't even have time to play it this year anyways. But yeah, Sea of Stars looks awesome. stuff right so how do I put stuff into my ship from from here do I have an inventory slot like is there like a, a locker or something is this it no what is this oh it's the bathroom okay Oh, 
Yes, oh yeah, I get to bask in the Sea of Starfield, very true. The Sea of Starfield, like that. Hey, okay, where's my inventory? So I'm gonna like, for instance, I'm gonna put some of this stuff in here because I don't think I need it all. Some of the miscellaneous stuff. Like the desktop globe, the dish rag, this folder. Pen, a personal groomer. The plant, the pot lid. All the sports bottles. Because I may just want to throw a bunch of sports bottles around my house. You never know. Wire spool. I'm keeping the coffee mug. The artifact and the digipick, because I think that's actually useful. get all that that's good there's a little computer screen looking thing that lets you see your ship's cargo you can also do it from the ship menu okay oh here we go cargo hold Oh yeah, that's cool. Maybe if an item doesn't have anything for crafting, it doesn't have any use besides selling. All right, there's a lot of things I could just sell. I don't know. Can you put any like any random items in your homes or something, or is it just specific things? Maybe it's like a little bit of everything. Anyways, let's, I guess we'll be, maybe I'll go try to collect some more aluminum, and then, or we can just go. Probably just go, because this is just a moon. Let's sit here in the toilet and just bask in the glory. <laughs> Patrick Stewart. We can take a soap dispenser. What was this thing? Navigation console. So yeah, this is the moon that we're on. Looks like there's like ice over here, doesn't it? I'm a little curious. I think they set like a landing target somewhere. Cause like, what is all this? The white. Do we try landing there? Could be cold though. <laughs> I think we'll probably, we might come back here. This is the system, so I guess they'll tell me where I'm going next. Before we take off guys, I'm gonna take a break, eat a little something, and we'll come back to Starfield after the break and we'll fly our ship for the first time. Our new ship. Yeah, it should be awesome. Really uh, intrigued by this so far. Enjoying the little taste of it we've gotten. We've just gotten a little lick of taste, nothing more than that. When you're in your inventory, when you're looking at your suits and helmets. RV. Oh, hide helmet. Oh, that's just a yeah, so you can hide helmet in breathable areas. Oh, that's cool. So we don't have to wear these suits the whole time, huh? So you can wear like street clothes. That's kind of cool. So 
loading now. If you don't like want to be in the looking in the suit the whole time. All right, guys. I'll be back in a few moments. Thank you all for for being here for the beginning of this this journey so far. Thanks again to Puffin for the raid. I'll be back in a few moments, and we'll continue Starfield. Daylight's coming, everything's all right. I'm homeward bound with the worn out flashlight. Questions remain, but evil is silence. Night after night of terror and violence. Daylight's come and everything's alright I'm homeward bound with the worn out flashlight Questions remain but evil is silence Night after night of terror and violence
Daylight's coming, everything's all right. I'm homeward bound with the worn out flashlight. I'm in Uh, we're back. We're back. Thank you all for, for waiting, for watching, for being here so far. Rob Schneider. You like that Rob Schneider emote, do you, Puffin? <laughs> yeah. I got some random emotes on my channel. For sure. Oh, thank you, Mitsu. 
I will be changing the BRB screen, I think, pretty soon since the summer is coming to an end. I will be changing that up for you guys. Putting some different tunes on there, maybe. Anyways, let's uh, let's get back to Starfield and what do you say we fly this baby? Watch me crash it before I even leave the moon. Barrett's like, don't you injure my ship at all? All right. So the game, like I said, actually has like a, a small little. Insert. This is as much at manual as you'll get these days. Actually, has controls for for flying and for just you know being out of the ship. Open scanner, fire boosters, increase system power. Whoa. How do I? for like attacking things in space. I think there's like flight. Uh, there's like flight combat as well. All right, uh, where exactly are we going? Because I don't even know. We're ready to take off though. Certainly a game that's feeling truly next gen, isn't it? Uh, oh my gosh, look at this. So, is that the moon we left? Now that we are in orbit, it might be wise to test all controls and systems to ensure they are not on the verge of catastrophic failure. I can step you through the entire process, or if you're already an experienced pilot, just power up all the systems and we'll be on our way. Use that to select the ship system and that to allocate the power. Alright, the, the lasers. Engine power right now. the moon we left so that's not where we want to go that is the big planet dude I gotta get learned real quick here. Do a barrel roll. Alright, let's try to lock in there. Alright, let's put. 
Locking, locking, locking. Oh, how do I fire? Oh, why to fire a missile? All right. I think he's way faster than me. Where'd you go, you punk? Seriously, where is he? Where the heck is he? There he is. Jeez. Did he get his shields back? He's tough to hit because I can nearly, can't see him. I'm gonna try maneuvering this way. All right. Oh, oh. There he is. See, he just keeps flying by. Now I gotta get this missile locked in. Dang it! He's too fast for me. All right, let me go down this way. I'm gonna try like. I just can't seem to get him in my sights long enough to do anything. Boost, 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 boost. Where the heck is he? He just keeps flying over me. <laughs> Come on. It isn't your favorite space ranger. That's right, it's Patrick Stewart, dude. I think I'm gonna end up dying here. You might need to teach me to fly. I like the way I stay with this guy. There we go. Uh, I got him with a missile. Now we got him, now we got him. Come on, don't let his shields regenerate. Whoa, who are they? He's still alive. He just keeps doing a flyby here and it makes it so hard to like keep shooting him. I just feel like I'm going like around in circles here. Press L to fire the ballistic cannon. Where is he? He just like keeps flying the same way away. Is he dead? He's still alive? He got shields back. That's the problem. Look at his shields keep coming back. Crap. I think I got him. There we go. Yeah, I took him down. Congratulations on surviving your first now I have no idea where I am. We should search the wreckage for spare parts and other salvage. You will need to fly close to it before we can access the remains. The remains, okay. Fly, fly close to shipwrecks and press A to loot them. Where is the shipwreck? Is that it? Oh, well, I'm gonna just crash into this freaking thing. <laughs> oh man, I gotta fight more guys now. Hits it on him. It'll take me a bit to get used to flying here, I'm telling you. Oh, 
Okay, he's almost dead. Now catching up to him. More used to this. There we go. Don't mess with Patrick Stewart. No thanks, pizza. And fleet ghost. So those are all planets there, those ones there. So Crimson Fleet. Alright, so it wants me to open the star map. Travel to Crete. That's where we want to go. Right, I guess set course for Crete. All right, so. Going in. Let's land anywhere, huh? Repairing the hole right now. This is really good. There seems like there's a lot of depth to this, like, just this, the flying part of this. ship and everything like that's crazy yeah that's where we gotta go How long is it going to take us to travel down there? We're not being attacked right now. Planet view of the star map gives you information about the environment, lets you scan the planet for resources, and helps you discover key landing sites. Rotate the planet until the Crete Research Lab map icon is in view. Map icon to land there. Uh, uh, 
Oh, here we go. That's, that's faster. <laughs> Patrick Stewart, level one. Let's go. There's going to be a lot of mechanics to learn. The good thing is there's going to be a lot of good stuff in this. So we're landing on another moon. Now we'll definitely explore this one a little bit. Look how beautiful this looks. Somebody else is taking off. Patrick Stewart. We're ready for adventure. Let's get out. Yo, what's up, Vasco? Captain Stewart, Protocol Indigo dictates that I am to return to the lodge with no deviations. We are here to stop the Crimson Fleet. Why, why are they after often ask Barrett that same question at various times and about various individuals that wanted to cause us harm. The most likely answer is that Barrett personally insulted him, typically <laughs> by continuing to live, usually after escaping from certain death, and often with an object multiple people wanted. Well, thanks, Vasco. All right, here we go. Our first real alone time out in the universe. Dang, I can see a base over there. Oh, that's where we're going right there, but look at... Do some mining. There's like, there's stations all over. We got some iron. Let's see if we can find like, more aluminum too. And what about this like fruit thing, whatever this is over here? Guess I can't grab this. Dust root. Oh, here we go. Where's my experience bar? That's another thing I don't know. Oh, it's right here. Right underneath where it says level one. It's a very clean interface here, too. I like this. Like, there is a lot to look at and get used to, but it's pretty clean. It's Looks good. Lasers. And when we get one, we'll be able to unlock something there. Alright. Music is so good too so far. Look at that, there's the big planet in the system. What is all this? I can't mind that. Oh, 
Oh, Vasco's with me. What up, Vasco? Don't want to lose my ship either. Like, so I'm like, I don't want to get too far away from everything. But man. Dude, this is impressive. And that's the people that brought you, you know, Skyrim and all that. I gotta I gotta definitely play through Skyrim one of these days. Imagine a new Elder Scrolls game, like what they're going to be able to do with it now. What are these plants here? Start heading towards that base there. No creatures living here. I mean, it is a moon. I don't think there's going to be much, but maybe the uh, the pirates. I'm excited to see like the cities and stuff. You can open your scanner and so I can fast travel to my ship at any time, basically. So if I do, how do I open my scanner actually? Not that. Not yet. Not that yet. Is it this thing? That's my ship, right? The frontier. Oh, there we go. That's what you're talking about right there. And LB's your scanner. Went out in the world. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, here we go. I was wondering if we could do this. Scan creatures, minerals, and plants. Each unique item that's scanned in progress. Your survey data on the planet. Completed survey data can be sold for credits. The scanner mode also unlocks additional features such as building outposts and using social skills like diplomacy and intimidation. So then I scan dust root. So there's different flora and fauna. There are three fauna here. Resources two of eight. Oh, that's cool. And it shows you, it kind of shows you where you have to go, too. Awesome. Thank you, Jaden. Found something else. I don't know what we just got, but it was a different resource, I think. This helps us pick out like what we can like actually mine to is this silver? Oh yeah. We got a little bit of iron here too. Be careful, Captain. Alien creatures are 
Well, so am I. I'm Patrick Stewart. You don't want to mess with the guy that's Professor X and Captain Picard. Crete Stalker? Is this a creature? Oh, shoot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. I need my, uh... I had to bring up my weapon to a... favorite thing. Yeah, get him, Vasco. No. <laughs> They're a crab creature. Look at it. Fiber tissue. Right, now can I like fully scan it? It says 13% scanned. Why is it not fully scanned? I don't understand. Do I need to get more of them? Maybe I need to get more than one. Nice. Yeah, the scanner is going to be like, obviously key here when exploring. It's going to help me out so much. Imagine 100%ing this game. <laughs> like getting everything on every planet. Every kind of fauna, flora, resources, and every side mission. Somebody's gonna do it. Ain't gonna be me, but somebody's gonna do it. Probably have to scan more. Yeah, as I figured, I'm like, it said 13%. I guess you have to get like a certain amount of them, which is fine. We can see any more over here. It's like a satellite over there. I've seen a lot of like interesting areas to go to already. Like stations all over. I'm gonna go over there first, then maybe we'll go somewhere else. Yay. 
these things are weird to pick up. You have to like look down in the right spot to get it. Here's the research lab. All right. 20 XP. Violent, you say? We can deal with violent. Wow. Dude, this is so awesome. Tight Vasco. Don't know what we're getting into here. Screwdriver. A bubble lover. Got some new attire. Sealed container value. Like some of the stuff is just valuable. We could like sell. If you went with that dream home uh, perk, it would have been, or trait, we would have been having to collect everything and sell anything we can get our hands on to pay for that mortgage. A freaking book here. Desktop sand garden, yes, please. Bad people, bad jokes, too. When did they come up with the second one? Why did the chicken cross the road, huh? What's a chicken? Knock, knock. Who's there? Planet. Planet who? If I throw a party, will you help me plan it? Cliptic mercenary says to a woman, I've been hired to kill you and I always get the job done. Woman says, can't we talk about this, son? <laughs> How do you keep an idiot in suspense? How do you get a free star collective hick out of a tree? Wave. Louis Looper's Bad People with Bad Jokes, Volume 2, is a follow-up to his original work, and just like the predecessor, has become a cult hit. Wow. Starlocked board game. Dude, I want that. A couple board games. Taking the succulent. Reminder, run. I don't need to be reminded to run. I do it all on my own. This was a secret facility.
There's so many things to pick up. Well, what the heck is that? A heat leech. Oh my gosh, like, I saw something moving, I didn't even realize that there's a creature in here. I guess, uh, should I scan it? I guess. <laughs> Is that one complete? No. I guess that's not something that you scan. Take all the uh, health items for sure. Oh, Digipex. Coffee mug that says, what does that say? Here's like the board games we got. Solar Frontiers. Starlocked is the other one. I'm gonna play that. Mondays, am I right? There we go. There's the other <laughs> coffee mug we got. If I can start decorating my own house, oh my gosh, there's gonna be like coffee mugs all over. I think <laughs> I'm gonna collect every freaking mug, different type of mug I see. These like interesting ones, like these plain ones. And I guess I'll take it, but. Go. Patrick Stewart. Oh, shoot. Take your credits. of xenobiology. Mixing bowl. Hey, put those in the kitchen. Snack bag. Can I take the toaster oven? No, I'll take the oven, man. Beer. Uh oh. I believe we are no longer alone. 
That's gray. Water. Right, who's coming? Who's coming? You're not picking up an enemy in your scanner? Well, my scanners tell me otherwise. You leave Vasco alone. Pirates You're messing with the wrong steward. Hey, yeah, level two. My first level up. It's a midnight delight. All right, let's go see what we can use in there. Hey, welcome in, Jack. How you doing? Let's go see what we can level up. Uh, then we go to this. So I have a skill point. In settled systems, free market economy, almost anyone with the right skill set can open and run a successful business. Buy for 5% less and sell for 10% more. We can bring up our commerce. I'm going to do that, actually. We can make money to buy good things right away. I think I'm going to do that. She seems pretty useful. If we're going to collect a lot of junk money. <laughs> That we're gonna sell. Alright. Desk assistant? Oh, these like Alexis. Oh, uh, okay. There's like so much lore everywhere too. Oh my gosh. Specimens. Maybe we're like researching new creatures or something. Rotating desk planet, yes. Oh, we already have the Solar Frontiers game. Who's that? Oh, Battle Meal. Oh, here we go. Fill in all open slots in every layer to open the lock. Select the key and rotate it until it lines up with the gaps in the security layer. 
Slot the key to fill the gaps. Each key can only be used once. Dang. So. Like this. I can't get all three. Key, I guess. Uh, we did it. What did we get? A lot of credits and a book. <laughs> There's another digipick too. That's good. Dude, darts? I want the darts. I want the dart board too. Can I actually throw these? Let me see if I can throw the darts. <laughs> Equip. I can't. The silence of sand. It's like a movie or something? A film by Lincoln Singh. Sounds great. those weapons I just need the ammo Paperweight, yeah, we'll take that. Then can I take the uh, espresso machine? There is a UC coffee mug. We don't have that one yet, so let's collect that. <laughs> let's collect those coffee mugs. Nothing. That was rude. Get him, Vasco. Use that. Let's 
sure we're good. We're getting stuck in now. That there's more there. You can hear them. You need to get your scanners fixed there. Fast up. Come on. I think I can eat like just like food from my menu, right? Just to get back a little bit of health. Maybe. Oh yeah, wow, there's like a lot of stuff that we can eat. So I'm gonna eat like these apples. And yeah, we'll have the beer. Beer in like a juice box container. Protein bar too. It only gives you a little bit of food, some of these. I mean, a little bit of health. The orange juice. Water. Not much. You need a lot of food to bring it up. So the med kits are definitely the best way so far. Is that a person right there? It was. <laughs> well, I think they're dead. Try a different weapon too. So we have more weapons. I've been using this freaking pistol. Equinox. The Rattler. Let's try the Equinox. This is like a shotgun. Digipick. Alright, uh, yeah, that's it. Come to me here. Try out this gun. more of a punch that's for sure so you run I am aiming for your center of mass 
This freaking thing. There you You got this Vasco, don't you worry. I mean, I'm enjoying this game so much already, and we haven't even like really done anything. <laughs> We've landed on the moon, explored, shot some guys. We haven't really done much, have we? right there. Cred stick. Ooh, oof. Um, some grenades there. screwed here. Yeah, we're kind of screwed here. Try one more time. Tough one, maybe this, and then these three. There we go. And now you want to do those two there, and those two there. Yeah. What do we get? Ammo and credits. Got 1600 credits already. Plus, you get a little experience for pick locking, too. I 
there's something new every time you play. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's just gonna, gonna make it so awesome. It's just the possibilities that are gonna be there for this game. It's like, it's gonna be something different each time you put it on. Like, I haven't gone to any towns or cities or anything yet. Barely done much, but we're still having a great time. Claw marks. Like, I'm excited to see what kind of alien life is going to be out there and all this different ecosystems we're going to end up seeing. It's a lot, a lot to do. Field of the Stars, it is. Twitch actor. You want sexy aliens? Well, I'm sure they're out there. We'll try to find some sexy aliens for you guys. <laughs> he has a synth of eight hamburger. There we go. A terramorph. Like this one moon has this much like backstory and stuff on it. What do they even get? Caffeine. All right. Multiple limbs and very handsy. Okay. We'll try to be your wingman. We'll do the best we can. How many limbs are we talking here? Five or six, maybe? Whoa, 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 what was that? That's another one of these things. Is that sexy enough for you? <laughs> it's twerking. There's going to be, oh yeah, there's going to be the new co-op mode, right, in, in the next season? I wonder how that's going to go. Which we find eight, please? You want eight limbs, okay. <laughs> They're out there somewhere. 
the master of unlocking. <laughs> Getting some of it done. I'm usually so bad at uh, pick locking in like every video game, too. Hey, we got stuff in there. Can a four gig laptop run this? Oh, yeah, sure. Sure thing. Sure, I'll have no hiccups whatsoever. Mitsa, let us be your explorer for you here. Enjoy the playthrough here until you get to play it, hopefully, someday. You could unlock a door with a card, that I believe. Uh, who, so these guys are talking to me. I can tell them. You'd be like, listen, I'm with Constellation. You gotta stop. I could lie and tell them I killed Barrett. I could attack them straight up, or I could just. I'm gonna ask them what the problem with him is, anyways. Captain Fr Frontier? What are you talking? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know anything about Frontier. The Frontier Internet? What are you talking about? All right. Oh, this will be fun. Yeah, it will be. All right. Brogan. Oh shoot. Look out. I need to like, heal right now. What is that? Not that, dude. Whew. Get his shield down, that's it. Kill this bastard. He ain't no match for Patrick Stewart. I mean, he's way outmatched here. Out of ammo with this gun. Got to go with the pistol. Alright, Brogan's dead. Now for the minions. There was a demo. Oh, it'd be cool if there was a demo of this. Fortnite skills, yeah. It's alright, we got, we got those Fortnite skills here. <laughs> all that Fortnite's paying off. Alright, alright, alright. Where's Jesse to bail me out of this? Or Nick or somebody? Anthony? Stardew. Where are my Fortnite crew at? Did they just take off and leave? Or did they drop more guys off? Oh, they're out there. <coughs> Don't make me chase you. dead. You're dead. Come on, I got plenty of ammo for this crappy pistol. Come on, show yourself. Somebody's still up here. Oh, I understand. 
Yes, Vasco, that's what they want to do. They're trying to take our ship. There you are. Finish him off. He's almost dead, he's almost dead. Got him. There we go. <laughs> Jesse, help this man out. I know. Use your Street Fighter 6 skills as well for the melee attacks. Oh, yeah. That game only took me 45 hours to complete. We gotta implement the rumble skills, I know. That's what the platforming... Yeah, that's uh, where the platforming comes in handy. Everything. We're gonna need everything for this game. Alright, so now we're we going up there. We are going up there. Yay, it's fun to jump around. Is that my ship? Is that where we're going? I guess we are going back since we took out Barogan. It's nighttime now. Maybe different things come out at night here. I don't know. Oh, somebody's still alive. What is this? Excuse me. I like that it automatically brings up your miner when you bring the surf the scanner up. Look out! I'm not trying to mine you, Vasco. Jeez. All the few game, all the games we played last few months will lead up to this game exactly. This game's gonna have a little bit of everything. We need all the skills or lack thereof. That was the Rumble AI as well. Yeah, just standing there, looking lost. AI teammates are so stupid in that game. Nothing's worse than Earthfall though. I stand by that. Earthfall's AI is complete. They make the game harder for you, that's how dumb they are. When they're supposed to help you. Oh, I've maxed out my CO2 levels. Okay, let's calm down. Let's calm down. I didn't know I had done that. Let's calm down here. Complete. Oh yeah, no. They... Oh, when I played that game... You would go down, right? And it's up to your teammates to, to get you up. There's like a revive mechanic. They will literally stand next to you. And it takes nothing at all to get somebody up. I think you just have to like hit a button. The AI does not get you up. They stood next to me and like tried to fight every stupid alien at once. By themselves. And there's a, Mind you, there's a whole team of them too. So it's like four people like left for dead. So three AIs. And they can't be bothered to get you up. Well, I think one time one of them was like trying to shoot aliens through a wall and was hitting nothing, obviously, because it was trying to shoot through a wall to get to them. And I'm like, what? <laughs> they don't even know how to play the game. 
They can't even do the basics right. Why are my CO2 levels so bad? Is it harder to breathe at night on this planet or something? He's just getting tired fast, huh? Maybe I'm over encumbered, huh? Temperature's 25 degrees. It's a lot colder here at night, obviously. Oh, what are these freaking things? Trial bite. Maybe we have to scan like nine or ten of them, probably. Yeah, the for Dead AI is really good. Is what I'm saying. Like, I think I played a little bit of that last year too, and that, that AI still holds up really well. Any ch chance there's a jetpack? Uh, I I think there is, but yeah, it has to be like a certain trait or an unlock or something. I remember seeing it in the Starfield Direct. They had it. It might be. It's either a certain trait, which I already picked my traits. So if I don't have it now, I probably won't get it, but, or it's like, um, like an unlock in the skill tree. Pretty sure it's part of a trait though. scan that one shoot man yeah it's much tougher to breathe here at night just moving around there's a lot how beautiful this is at night though I'm gonna go drop some things off on my ship yeah, Earthfall is terrible. It's terrible. I thought it would be kind of a fun game because it's like Left 4 Dead, but like aliens. I like the concept. I said there's like there's a few good things about the game. Like the characters are fine. The level design's pretty like pretty good actually. Um, but my goodness, like AI is just makes it unplayable. I should stream that again sometime. Revisit Earthfall. Captain Stewart, that's right. I ain't ready to go anywhere yet. I'm just dropping off some items if I can find my locker. Am I over encumbered? I didn't know that I was. Oh, I am. 139 of 135. Okay. I probably need to drop off some of the weapons that I picked up. Wait, is this the stuff that's in? Oh, hang on. Hang on. The board game. Yeah, the ammo obviously will keep. Look at this thing. I think there's going to be so many awesome items in this. My Halloween stream should be <laughs> freaking 
Earthfall because it's a nightmare. Yeah, I'll play that. Catwoman and Jumper back to back to back. Terrifying night of awful games. Hey, look at the jumpsuit. Looks good on Patrick Stewart. Yeah, I definitely need a, uh, a crew. It would be nice to have a crew. Uh, there might be vehicles in this too. I don't know. That's the thing. It's just, it's about your ship though. I think you just you can kind of like land your ship anywhere. I believe. So you can kind of just go around. I mean, you might. I don't know. Maybe there is like unlockable vehicles later, like little moon cars or something. Stuff. Look at all the mugs we're going to have. Actually, this is pretty sweet. Look at this digital frame we got. Zen Garden. I'm gonna store one of those in there. Grenades. Frontier Attire, that's actually pretty cool. A lemon like one Friday night and Friday night nightmares just bad games the whole stream with my NFT frame oh the uh, the digital picture thing yeah time to sell them for crypto all yeah, right I don't I don't get into the whole cryptocurrency never will <laughs> that's what everyone's saying that the uh, One Piece show is awesome speaking of the crew um, my girlfriend and I are going to watch it she watched the first episode she said she really loved it and yeah, people have been checking it out and just saying it's actually really good I know nothing about One Piece but I don't think I need to to watch it so I'm definitely going to check it out probably soon So much stuff. Look at this. An oven mitt. Soil box. Space undersuit. Succulent. So just storing a lot of stuff that I don't see myself needing to keep right now because otherwise we are going to get quite over encumbered lots of meal hamburger meat Containers at max capacity? What, really? I can't store anything else in my locker? Oh no. I'm gonna run out of room real quick. I'm gonna have to be selling a lot of stuff then once we find a shop. You 
use the mittens. They're making an Avatar Last Airbender one as well, huh? pick up too much. I'm going to head for like one of these buildings. What is this? Unknown. Natural? What does that mean? It says grab jump to Jemison. Because that's our next planet or something we're going to, maybe moon. I do want to go over here though. Hazardous weather, sandstorm? Oh shoot. It's like a tornado or something. Oh yeah, it's over there. Shoot, we're not get caught up in that. Scan that mofo. Are you a hostile enemy? Or a creature? You look like you might be nice, actually. Oh, definitely not nice. they were like gentle giants or something. Goodness me. Oh, what the heck am I doing right now? What the? I'm like building. Hang on. Where did that come from? Relic Station. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to. I thought that they might have been nice. I had to kill them. Poor things. But they gotta die. Environmental damage. What the heck? Dude, there's a lot to worry about right now. Are we in the sandstorm? I should get back in the ship. We might be okay in this storm for now. Doesn't seem too critical. Oh, we just amped up. I didn't mean to. I shouldn't have done that, huh? Eat the lemon. Yeah, the food doesn't really give you a ton of health. It's kind of just fun to like collect it and eat. You might as well eat it. it. Does take up space. Probably keep going. The water. Oh, I can definitely jump higher. All 
harvest some water, I guess. I don't know why I was trying to mine it. It's mine. Might have to mix the food with things? Maybe, yeah. Maybe you can cook. I don't know if, if cooking is even a thing. Maybe it is. I know you can, like, craft certain things. Well, there is, like, maybe there is food that you can make. I guess I probably shouldn't have eaten all that. Thanks for the hydration. Powerade zero. Water, water. This is like little watering holes around. There's so many like, there's a lot, a lot to this game already. You see, there's like, can I mine right here for silver? Show me that this is silver here, but I don't know how to. Probably need like a different tool for that. I have a gained it. I've gained an affliction. status come on how do I get out of this Affliction. Take the corresponding remedy to cure it. Oh! Sorry, something's damaged me. Duh. Go to the inventory and look for items in the aid and icons that match your afflictions. So I have lung damage. <laughs> oh, this gives you all your stats. I don't even know about all this stuff. Crime. Uh oh. Starting to build that. Locks picked five. Every time we pick a lock, we get put it on our crime rap sheet. Doesn't seem right. Like abandoned places. Alright, so I need something that can cure. I guess beer can cure it. treatment I see the injector can there we go it's another new thing we gotta learn what's up Apple Bandicoot half-life gun yeah <laughs> oh half-life how I miss the the first game anyways some of you know the debacle that happened when I tried to play through the first game I was, I was having a lot of fun with that game, too. One day, hopefully, we'll finish it. And now that I have a working original Xbox, I can get Half-Life 2. Play that for the first time. I've heard that one's supposed to be better, but... I don't know. Let's go check this place out. Keep us out of the storm anyways. So I'm probably not going to do 
any other landings tonight. I don't spend a lot of time just on this first moon. Abandoned shipping depot. What's the Black Mesa remake? I guess it's the OG. I know whatever the PlayStation 2 version is in the black box. I don't know. That's the one I have of Half Life. It's not the orange box one, if that's the one you're talking about. Isn't that Half Life 2 or something on that? Oh, somebody's up there. That is the OG? Okay, yeah. That's what I thought it was, you know, other than, like, playing it on the PC version, but... That's the only... I think it was the only console it was released on, right? It was... PlayStation 2. Whoa, what is this thing? What is this thing? Level 6. Just punch the robot, that'll work. It's not that low, I'm good. There we go. Yeah, I got it for a good price too. It was like two years ago, not even, maybe that I got it. I think it was like less than that actually. And it was it's in like such good shape. It's normally like a forty dollar game or something. I mean it's not an ex too expensive of a game, but I think I got it for like twenty bucks or something like that. I can't remember. I paid less than it's worth. That's all I know. I don't even know how, I don't know if the guy even knew how much the game was worth or something, or he just didn't care. It was a big like collectible game shop with a bunch of other collectibles and stuff. So he must have known. He just didn't like, just had it as a cheaper price. It was good. There's lots of guys here. Yeah, I was enjoying the game. I'd never really played anything quite like that for a first-person shooter. It was impressive. I mean, it's hard. But I got soft-locked, so I couldn't continue. And the game doesn't really read in my PS2 anymore. Because it's one of those, like, black disc games with the black bottoms. My PS2 has trouble reading games that aren't the clear bottoms, the blue and the black ones, it really struggles now to read. The game is like in good shape, whoa we died, no, it's not like the game that, that's not working, it's like the system isn't reading it, PS2 works fine otherwise, just some of the games that has a trouble like reading. How many seasons, oh uh, Crash Team Rumble will have? Four, you're saying? Yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, like, at least that. Oh, well, we died. We gotta go. I guess we can try going back here. I don't know. Is there anything worth... That building up there might be worth more. I don't know. Let's go up to that. Half-Life is definitely really good, but not an easy game for me anyways. It's long too. The only thing I can do is if it ever does read again, I have to use cheats to try to get back to where I was, like in vulnerability, just to get back to where I was in the game where I got soft-locked, and then take the cheats off and then continue from there. <laughs> But when I tried to do that, again, the game wasn't reading. I got like a little bit in. And then when I tried to reinsert the disc and do work on it more, it, it stopped like reading it. So I think uh, a newer model PS2 would probably read most, if not all, of my PS1 and PS2 games. 
Use the hand scanner to place an outpost beacon. So we can make an outpost on this moon. Look how cool that is seeing that planet. Neck break the robots. Oh, like the one, the one that was trying to kill us. If it's uh, soft locks again after d disabling the cheats, I know that would suck. I even tried putting the cheats in to where I am in the game, and it's still, I still automatically die at this one part. Even with like, whatever cheats I could find. I wish there was like a level select cheat, then I could just skip to that level and it'd be like. Be great. So I was really into the game. I was getting into it so much. I put a lot of hours into that. We were enjoying it, and I just had to stop it. Has anybody heard the song by David Duchovny called Half Life? That's a great song. Hope I'm still going the right way here. Where was that building? Is that it? No. I swear, it's probably like all the way up here. Thing so much further away than I thought it was. <laughs> it looked closer. Somebody's landing, what the heck? Oh shoot. Well that's random. Is it pirates? I'm gonna say he played Half-Life and was inspired to create that song. Yes, most likely. Of course. This is our bot. Yeah, this is ours. It's Vesco. We need to reach the Alpha Centauri system, Captain. The planet of Jemison. We will. The pirates, let's kill them all. Outer Worlds too. So you like the first Outer Worlds. That's a game I've thought about picking up before. I might get it on my PS4, actually. I don't know. It looks awesome, but... I know they're making a second one. We got more space pirates. For Patrick Stewart to take out. I just want like curious about what this building is. Look at all this stuff we're seeing and doing and experiencing and we're only on a freaking moon. Like imagine when we start getting to the actual planets. Nothing on there. Deserted mineral plant. We have power. Did the pirates come over here? Hey, well, you're level 14. Shoot. Well, they aren't shooting me. I don't know if I'm going to shoot first. Dude, they're much higher level. I can't take them on. 
That's kind of crazy that they're just there guarding it. Like, hey, listen, leave. Or we're going to attack you. Or I could sneak in. Maybe. And they'll never know. See, if I was a higher level, I could take them on. But man, they would wreck me right now. I like that. The game has like moments like that of like unpredictability, which is enemies showing up. Like they didn't attack me. They, you know, they gave me a chance to to kind of get away. <laughs> Those are the lyrics actually. It's really good if you like old school Fallout. Okay. Um, wait, who makes Outer Worlds? Is that also Bethesda that does those games? The only Fallout I've ever tried is 4 and... Yeah, I think it's 4. I think 4 is the only Fallout I've ever tried. I have New Vegas. I've never tried it. Um... That was something I picked up in a thrift store. So like I didn't have it like when it came out or anything. From what I've played at Fallout 4, I really liked it. But I never like got close to the finishing it. And I've seen like a lot of Fallout 3, because my brother used to play that one and I would watch him play some of that. He was really into that game. I don't remember anything about Fallout 1 or 2. Does it, like, what systems were those even on? What are these things, by the way? Okay, I can't mine this. Structure over there. Obsidian. Oh, so, oh, is, yeah, Obsidian used to be part of Bethesda. Yeah, you're right. So they're the ones that are doing the new Avowed game, I believe. Obsidian. And they also did um, Grounded, I believe. Grounded's a really cool game. I'm going to stream that one, one time. I played a little bit of that. My girlfriend loves that game. Um, I'm going to try to see if her and I can play co-op on it somehow. actually have that. It's one of the few digital games I own right now on my Xbox One. It is grounded. Set it up. The South Park. <laughs> like Stick of Truth and all that. They're great RPGs. They're gonna do avowed. It's gonna be awesome. From what I've seen of that, it looks good. Whoa, who is this person? Ecliptic. I need to scan these. Ah! Oh, you're level five. Shoot. Let's not die. Let's not die again. Hang on. Me just minding my own business, trying to explore. Everything starts attacking me. Where 
Where are these punks? Dude, they got their level five, man. Some critical hits in there. Oh shoot, they're gonna kill me. Gotta get out of here. We're too weak for this. Digital blasphemy. I know. It's digital only for that one. Actually, somebody... Somebody made custom cases for Grounded. I actually might buy one off eBay. It looks really good. It's like a custom case. I want to try making some of my own custom cases. Printing them out, but I don't have like all the stuff I need for that yet. Not going to do anything fancy. For like digital games that I own and want to buy. Yeah, somebody made like a custom grounded case and it looks really good. You get that, and uh, you know, display that on the shelf. I think that's pretty cool. They were exploring too, exploring ways to kill you. They are. Now they're gonna realize that I am too dangerous for them. Did they run away? That's right. Because I'm Patrick Stewart. Oh, you're over here. Your shield's down, buddy. Your shield's down. You're mine now. You know, Disney Dreamlight Valley is getting a physical release, and I put that in quotations because it's actually just a digital code in a box that comes with some goodies inside, too. I think it's coming out sometime this year. So that's probably how I'll purchase that game. Like I'm like that's cool too if they want to get make a digital one, but it's like it's kind of weird. Like why would you go through the trouble of making the case and all that stuff and just not having a physical copy of the game inside? Like it's just a, a case <laughs> with uh, you know, like I said, a digital code for you to to download the game and own it. And, uh, yeah, there's, like, they give you, like, some goodies, like a poster or something, maybe stickers or something. So I definitely want to, because I want to get back into that game, too, eventually. That game's amazing. So owning it there. I never owned it. I remember I had only played a little bit on Game Pass when my, uh, when my friend, uh, let me use his Game Pass for a little bit. Oh boy, is right. Freaking Disney Dreamlight Valley, such a chill, fun game. That one. What is, what is this here? It's an abandoned mine. Let's hope it's abandoned. You get XP for finding new locations, too. Well, I guess it's not abandoned. Somebody's shooting me. Let's get inside. Old school Disney? Oh yeah, me too. I love old school Disney. The newer stuff? I haven't seen as much new Disney stuff as I have. The old school stuff. Whoa. Did they follow me? They followed me. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. I didn't know that they were going to do that. That's crazy. So they actually followed me in there. I believe saved like that. I 
need ammo for that. Just Looney Tunes, Looney Tunes, Tom and Jerry. All good too. So this is a fight we will not win. Come on, come on, come on. Well, maybe we will. Let's go, Vasco. Yes. I'm with Patrick Stewart. Your credits, your ammo. Never play it safe, lesson learned. I know. You can't. Like my, I thought I was good. I was like, yeah, I'll get inside. There's a, like a little loading screen. They're not going to follow me in here, surely. They jumped me. Disney, oh, Illusion Island? Is that the one you're talking about? their torso. Yeah, Illusion Island's awesome. I did play that. Um, streamed it. Honestly, I 100%ed that game. Actually, I took the time to 100%ed because I enjoyed it that much. It's really, really good. It's also co-op too. If you ever have one of people that you want to play with on there, but yeah, it's a really, really fun, very chill game. It's it's easy, very easy in the beginning, but then it gets a little tougher as it goes. I think the difficulty spike is like perfect. Like it's not a hard game by any means. It's actually pretty easy, all things considered. But there are some sections that you'll you know, you'll die. Because it does get you know, some tough little areas. But I highly, highly suggest that game. Recommend, I should say. Vasco, move. <laughs> I think it took me like three or four parts to beat it, 100%. It's not a long, long game, but. Especially if you don't 100% it, you can get through it probably pretty quickly. You know, it's it's a big map though, so like 100%ing did take me a while, a lot of backtracking. But it was fun, it wasn't like super, super tedious for the most part, to 100%. Um, that playthrough is on my YouTube as well, but is there nothing else here? I guess this is it, the end of the line. I caved in. But yeah, very, very good game. Another sleeper hit this year, I think, is that game. <laughs> is that your dream game? Collecting the bodies. I know. 
I think she wants to try it. I think she does. I'm just gonna actually, her brother wants to play it too. He really wants to try it. I'm like, dude, yeah, like, let's play it some night. Three of us could chill. I probably won't stream that, but because I've already streamed the entire game, but I'm sure we'll play it sometime. Because I'm interested to see like how fun the co-op is, too. I mean, the movement in the game is really well done. Like the controls are very tight. The move, uh, the move sets are really fun to kind of flow through the areas. It's just the music, the atmosphere of the game is really good. I mean, the animation's beautiful. I think the graphics are really good in that game. And I hope that company puts out more, uh, more stuff because that's a really good, they a really good game. If you like your side scrollers, definitely one to check out. Kingdom Hearts 4, oh my goodness, yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be awesome. I have played I've only played one and three. I haven't played two yet. Didn't love one. I liked one, but I didn't love it. Three was amazing. I did love that game. It was a really good RPG. Crete uh, Grazer. Thirty-eight percent. These are the stalkers. Direct. What your experience? Oh, this is where we killed the other ones. Whoa! Get him, Vasco. I know. Illusion Island and chill. That, good. that game is chill too, for the most part. Very chill. Totally selling this to Apple Bandicoot. I know. <laughs> hey, I'm happy to to give my honest opinion on any game, really. Whether I like it or not. Okay, our ship's like way over there, so let's start moving over that way. I'm gonna make my way back to the ship and when we get there, I'll probably end tonight. Eighty-eight percent scanned, I might die. Gosh, reload. that we haven't scanned yet. Huh? More of those. I think those things are harmless. Jeez. Is my stream skipping? Uh, we might have been hitting a patch of some lag or something. My internet is not always the best. And I'm actually landing my computer to it now. And it still seems to have a little bit of hiccups. I do apologize if sometimes we do get some frame drops or freezes or whatever. And then like lag. And even on occasion... <laughs> The stream like cuts out and resets, which is really annoying. Saving for an apartment, nice. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, they're they're gonna be. They'll be the apartments by you aren't too expensive. Let me heal up a bit. Crackers, beer, spicy worms. Lemons, chicken, ramen. Give it to me. And our health's still not even full. Not on your end, alright. So maybe it was just there a minute. More expensive than it used to be. Yeah, I think like the cost of living has just gone up. Crazy. Yeah, we got these guys 100% scanned. Could kill them for the experience. Yeah, there we go. Hey, we leveled up again. Now they're scared of me. Look at they're running. I see Patrick Stewart coming and they're like, shit. It's Professor X, get out of here. Apartments are really expensive by me. It's quite ridiculous. You get some No Man's Sky vibes from like exploring these areas and stuff and scanning things, but the way it works for me is a lot, a lot different. Obviously, there's like more action in this game. Some more water. Harvest that water. No man's sky vibes, indeed. Yeah. I mean, it's it's going to be hard to play this game and not even mention No Man's Sky for anybody that's played both games. But I said this. This is completely different in terms of how it plays in No Man's Sky. Like they're both definitely their own thing. Like an outsider looking in might say, "Oh, it's No Man's Sky," or whatever. But now nah, it's it's way different from that. They're both their own their own thing. Both good. Say so this game. This game could win Game of the Year. I mean, it really could win Game of the Year. I just don't know how... I feel like... I hope this game doesn't get, like... Review bombed or something like that, you know? From anybody, just because. It's not on PlayStation. Review bomb it. It's not 60 frames on the Series X. Let's review bomb it. Because things, things do get review bombed and it's kind of sad these days.
Like not giving things like a fair chance. Water for our zero electrolyte drink. <laughs> yeah. My mom didn't buy it for me. Review bomb. Yeah. IGN gave it a seven. Because they take bags of cash, yeah, IGN. Don't trust. Like I said, I've never been one to trust everything, you know, reviewers say about things. In terms of YouTube reviewers, you know, yeah, obviously I consider it. You always consider it. But, like I say, you always got to try it for yourself to know for sure. I don't see how this game could be a 7 so far. This game only gets better from here, and there's like so much more that you can do exploring the cities and the characters and the missions and all the other things you're going to be able to do. I don't I don't know how you could give this game any lower than like an 8. There we go, we got all the fauna on this planet, or this moon. We might die, but it's good. People might hate it just because it's not Elder Scrolls. Because they want Elder Scrolls, I don't know. Am I dead? Oh, I'm almost dead. Oh, shoot, dude. That was close. First saw content from Zero's hard cold sweats, all natural guaranteed. <laughs> There's your electrolytes. Nice controller. Oh thank you. Yeah, this is the um the OPI or the OP controller. It's really, really nice. So I got this one over the summertime because I wanted to pick it up because I just love the colors. So my girlfriend actually told me what it is. I had no idea what OPI was. Apparently it's a nail polish brand. I was like, what? They collaborated with Xbox to make this controller. And, uh... I think it's just beautiful. It feels great. And I wanted another Series X controller other than, like, the, uh... standard black one that they give you. Yeah, it's really, really nice. It's really, really nice. I mean, I didn't even, I didn't, I don't care that it's like a nail polish company. I was like, I don't care what it is. It look, just looks great. It's a zero custom made controller. Yeah, one I made. <laughs> I couldn't make something that looks that nice. You want a new single player Fallout? That would be cool. Because 76 was like an MMO, right? I heard. That's what's great about this game. This is single player. There's no stupid online service you have to connect to. There's no BS like that. Like, it's just... You're just playing the game, enjoying it. You know? It's a single player. Good old school single player experience. Doesn't require any of the online BS of today's gaming. And I said, a game like this does not need to have any kind of multiplayer. It doesn't. Just let us experience the game and put the time in and enjoy it. Proof that one player games can sell very well. Let's head back up there. Jeez, we're getting ambushed here. Is it alive? 
Oh, it's dead. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to make an outpost on this planet. I mean, on this moon, but... There is, like, a lot of iron. There's, like, silver here. Some good resources if we need it. Crash Bandicoot 5, yeah. I'm sure they will. Because Crash is, you know, doing well right now. Crash 4 did pretty good, right? Spyro. Spyro is still something I need to play. Never touched a Spyro game. Yeah. Alright, almost done for the night because I gotta get some sleep soon and go into work tomorrow. But we will play more of this this week, no doubt. Maybe even more tomorrow night. I don't know. Maybe I'll move on to something else for a bit. Still gotta finish up The Last of Us 2 and Lost Odyssey this month. Bomberman coming out in a few weeks. So we'll be playing that game. And then Lies of P shortly after that. Before getting into the uh, the Zero Ween specials. What was the sun coming up now? Let's get a good view. Remember, I built a, a house in No Man's Sky on top of this big mountain that like overlooks the planet, and I get like the best sunrises. Like, look at this here. Look at the lighting, too. It's beautiful. Shadows bouncing off everything. Sight to behold. Crash 4 sold well. well good, good. Yeah, it looks excellent. Can't wait to play my copy. Activision expected it to do numbers like the Insane Trilogy. Interesting. Like, why? Because, I don't like, everybody was going to buy the Insane Trilogy because it's the original ones, right? Yeah, Activision, their baby is the Call of Duty games for sure. Like, that's all they care about. They put one out every year. Like I said, I, have, I don't hate Call of Duty or anything. Like, I don't... Like the games I have are good, like they're fine. Like it's it's a decent franchise for gaming, but I don't I don't think it's as good as everybody, you know, hypes it up to be. Like there's just there's just better, more interesting shooters out there to me than, than the Call of Duty games. But so they're not bad. Like I, I buy, you know, every every now and then I get one. If it looks good. I like the setting of the game or something. Yeah, I'll check it out. I'll play some. And I'll probably enjoy it. It's just one of those franchises where I don't think I need every single game. You know, just certain ones, like like Assassin's Creed. Crash 2, your favorite. Crash Trilogy sold 20 million. Spyro sold 10 million. It just goes to t show you how big Crash is. Crash is at 2 million units. That's still good. That's still really good. I hope I was the 2 millionth buyer when I bought my copy. I think some game companies do expect insane numbers these days with the amount of copies sold. I was like, they gotta remember, not everybody has said systems, not everybody 
has the time to play said games. Not everybody has the money to play this, like each of these games all the time. You know, the people that might want it might not be able to get it. You know, then there's like things like review bombs and stuff like that. Streamers like myself that might be influencing people to buy things one way or the other. <laughs> I'm usually more pushing people towards obviously buying a game or trying it out as opposed to just skipping it. I say if it looks interesting to you and you think it, you know, something you'll enjoy, definitely give it a try. I can't tell you because something's good, it's going to be good like Illusion Island. I loved it. But you know, if you try it, it might not be your cup of tea, I don't know. But from my experience, I really enjoyed it. It's like this game so far, I'm really enjoying this. But somebody might play it and maybe they just don't love it that much. I don't know. What else is over here? Maybe more flora, but I don't even know where that would be here. I've only seen the one type. There aren't a lot of games where I tell people, you know, don't buy this, don't play it. It's usually like the bad, the really bad games that I play. The jumpers, the cat women's of the world. <laughs> Those are the ones I tell you not to buy. Gotta get cat woman <laughs> No. Don't do it, Meat said. Don't do it. Schedule against other games. Yeah, that's actually a really important factor. Yeah, like other big games could be out around the time that other people are playing. It's just not the right time for these people. <laughs> Jump. Go ahead, buy Jumper. I, I dare you. I freaking dare you. To try to beat that game. Jumper 2. <laughs> oh gosh. But like... Like some like you know video like content creators on YouTube and big time uh, streamers, they, you know part of their job is to kind of review games and obviously give their opinion whether people should buy a game or not. I don't I would I don't see that as my job ever. Even though I'm streaming, I'm just I'm always giving my honest opinion about things and I'm not trying to tell people to to buy something or not. I'm just saying I recommend stuff the best we can do, right? Recommend it. Because I don't even do game reviews either. I know I've thought about doing game reviews on YouTube, but I really don't know a formula for it. How, I, how I'd even film it. <laughs> how to even go about it. It wouldn't even be anything fancy. It wouldn't be like high production. It'd be really, really bad. <laughs> But it might be fun to have some fun with it one day. If I decide I want to do those. My reviews are kind of in my streams, though. My playthroughs. Zero DLC? What does that mean? No DLC or DLC of me? That'd be even worse. They released at a bad time. Yeah, like Rumble did come out at like, like a weird time. Right at the end of June or something. I think there's other games I was just picking up. Yeah, like Zelda. I was still playing Zelda and stuff. And like I wasn't even going to get Rumble. At all. Like I didn't even like, it wasn't even on my radar until I saw somebody else streaming it. And I was like, hey, that looks kind of fun. Maybe I'll pick that up. And then the next day I thought about, I was like, you know what? Something's telling me I have to pick up this game because I'm going to love it. And then I went and bought it like two or three days after its release. And I'm so freaking glad I did. So sometimes you got to take those chances, listen to your gut feeling about some games. I get on board here. I need a new, yeah, you need a new system. PS5, you can play it on there. 
Probably works on the PS4 too, I would think. Yeah, Rumble's awesome. It's a super fun game. One of the most flat out fun games uh, that's come out this year. Is it one of the best games? I mean, that's hard to hard to argue with to say that it is with all the stuff that's come out. Old Earth Baseball, nice. Hopefully that's signed by like Jackie Robinson or something. Um, I mean, there's the. It's one of those. It's a. It's a different kind of feeling when you play something that like that. That's quick and fun like that, compared to something like this. That's more of like a drawn out experience of different journeys. Crash Team Rumble kind of goes back to reminding me of the times of playing stuff like on the GameCube, you know, with friends, like multiplayer stuff, just fun, just fun games to throw in and play for a little bit and have a good time with and not get too serious and enjoy it. That kind of fun, which is always welcome to me. Multiplayer game of the year. I mean, probably. I mean, I can't think of anything that's come out like that's like a strictly multiplayer game that would be better this year. Starfield and Spider Man 2. Nice. That is going to be great, too. I have the first Spider Man game. I can't wait to play that. I don't know when I'm going to play that. I wanted to play it this year, but I don't know if we'll get around to it. Maybe. We'll see. Because I'm kind of doing one PS4 game at a time. So after I beat The Last of Us, if I don't do a horror game on the PS4, then I'll pick something else to play. Like in for like November that I have. Maybe Days Gone. It might be Ratchet and Clank, honestly. Persona 3 Reload. So is that a... That's like a remake of the third one, right? But probably like doing more with it. I know, yeah, they moved Alan Wake 2's release date because of Spider-Man 2. They moved the game I'm looking forward to the most in my entire life later because of Spider-Man 2. There isn't a game I've anticipated more in my entire life than Alan Wake 2. The only other thing I can think of that I've anticipated and been more excited about is maybe maybe one of the Pez games. I think maybe 2008 or something or 2013. One of the Pez games I was very excited for. And Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, I was actually really hyped for when that was coming out. But Alan Wake 2 is going to take the cake. Food and drink, what can we make? I can't make anything. I don't have spices, I don't have nothing. I can make a robot, whatever this is, robots one. remake with the original. You suggest uh, me for a free access key to the game? <laughs> no. I know people get those, like a lot of like big streamers and stuff. Even like not so big, I've seen like smaller channels get like unlock codes for like a lot of games. I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. But for me, I, like, I'd still want to own it. Like, if it's like a small indie game and they want me to like play it and like, you know, advertise it, like I'd be happy to do that. And then if I really enjoy it, I'd probably buy it after that. But, um, yeah, they, they get like codes early for like a lot of games. Pretty crazy. But you know me, I'd, I'd still would want to own it physically if I can. 
even though Alan Wake 2 is all digital. So Alan Wake 2 will probably be something I stay up till midnight to like download and play, honestly. Since it's like the one digital game I'm gonna be like pre-ordering. <laughs> Can we make any of this? I could probably make barrel mods. I'm gonna make this. Barrel mods one. So now we can make this at a weapons workbench. Cool. They really want to grind my gears. They do. I can't believe they're only putting that that game on digital. The game I want the most in my life <laughs> is going to be the one digital game for like like a major studio this year. It's kind of crazy. I'm still holding out hope that they'll make a physical version, but I'm not getting my hopes up. I'm not like I'm holding out hope, but I'm not like getting my heart set on a physical release, you know? I'm prepared to buy a digital copy and be okay with that. I think that's all right. I, Because most of all, you know, I, I want to play the game. I want to experience the game. You know, even if I have to print my own box art out and just put it on my shelf, I'll do that. But I think some company eventually is going to print one, if not Remedy themselves. They probably will, like a collector's thing. Because, I mean, it's a horror game. And collectors love collecting horror games. So they're going to want it. But, you know, there's... There's people getting annoyed by the people who are asking for it physically. And I'm like, but why? Like, if you're buying it digitally, that's cool. Like, there's nothing against that. It doesn't come down to... It's just down to preference, right? It's like, how, how do you prefer to buy your games? Like, there's nothing wrong with wanting to buy a game digitally or physically. It's just preference. So... Digital doesn't mean it's like some master version of the game or anything. It's just a digital version of the game. It's no different. It's a more convenient way. Um... Well, that's cool. Don't use it said. I'm not going to use the don't use helmet. I could. Got a med pack though. Yeah, it's just like, you know, some people prefer one thing or the other. Chunks cap. What if I could, like. Got Barrett's personal slate there. I can decorate any of this. I won't take his helmet. Yeah, you too. Thanks for thanks for coming in, Twitch Act. I appreciate it. Thanks for chatting and hanging out. I am heading out myself too, actually. I'm like, it's time. We put a solid four and a half hours into this tonight. We really haven't even done that much either. Um, so we'll probably... We'll actually explore a planet next time we play. We've only been on moon so far, and it's been beautiful. But uh, what a game. I mean, this is living up to the hype so far. There's a lot of mechanics, a lot of details. The gameplay is really solid. The music's great. I mean, what's not to love about this so far? And our journey has only begun, my friends. Um, I appreciate everybody coming in tonight watching on Twitch, watching on YouTube. Thanks again for the raid from our friend Puffin. It was another excellent streamer. Um, yeah, I can't wait to come back to this. Maybe tomorrow more of this. We'll see. 
but definitely more of this soon. We're gonna say so we're playing this game pretty heavy this month because uh, I'm not gonna be playing this in October at all. So I want to get like, you know, I want to enjoy as much of it as I can this month while trying to play and finish up some other stuff. We'll see how the balancing act works. Hopefully it'll be good. But yeah, appreciate you all. Thanks for joining me at the beginning of this journey. Plenty more to come. You guys are amazing. Thank you for the support in all aspects on YouTube and Twitch. Jaded. Thank you for the insight. Thank you, Mitsa. Appreciate you coming in as well. Scooby snack. We got a muffin, mini muffin. I'll have some Coke Zero, I guess. Wow, what a game. What a game. See you guys in the next part. Take care of yourselves, everybody. Enjoy your Starfield in any game that you play. Until next time. Zero is the number. <laughs>